It's not the things inside my head that keep me going Don't need someone to throw me money, they should show it Keep chasing shadows, they're always haunting me But I believe in something bigger Triple scoop in the amino energy. I'm gonna get a CLA going, a couple of L-carnitine to get my day started. We're actually running low on amino energy. This is like got half, not even half tub, it's empty, well, full, thank God. Well, and I'm out of glyco jet. I really gotta go to Subsurus like today and get some more aminos. If you didn't watch yesterday's vlog, this is the turkey bacon that I was talking about. It's like Super lean. It's not like regular bacon. It's only got 1.5 grams saturated per 100 grams. And I'm having 120 grams. It's like not much fat at all. Ooh. So I just threw the, the cherry tomatoes in there. I got some eggs cooking in this pan. Multi-talented kind of fella. I'm gonna scramble these up. Now I got the mushrooms cooking on the side. The mushrooms, right? And there we have it, bacon and eggs for breakfast, on the shreds. All right, I'm gonna chow this down, and then I'm gonna get stuck into my work. All right guys, I finished up that workout, and it went really, really well. Okay, so I just finished up eating my breakfast, and I'm just sitting at my computer, I'm watching some YouTube. I love catching up on people's YouTube channels while I'm eating my breakfast and that, if I've got the time to sit down and actually watch some videos. So it's a good way to sort of motivate yourself for the day, you know, catch up on what everyone else has been up to. I like watching Christian Guzman, I'll call him the Guzman, because um, i got a lot to relate to him. You know, obviously he's a, he's a vlogger of all vloggers. You know, sometimes I'll sit down and watch Cass's YouTube channel. Yeah, just even watch my own sometimes. But um, I'm going to do a thumbnail for yesterday's video. It finally worked. It uploaded. Um, I might leave all this stuff out because when Cass wakes up, I'll probably cook up some bacon eggs for her. That way I don't have to clean up twice. How good is that? What a lunch. Put some cinnamon on there. Boom. I just got to treatment. Now I've got to go get a parking ticket because last time I came here, I forgot to get one and I got booked 75 bucks. 357? Yeah, sick. How much is it? $7.40 for one hour. Holy shit. Better get the credit card out. What a rip. Gotcha. Oh, alright, as I was saying. Yeah, as I was saying, I get treatment done once a week by my massage therapist just basically to loosen up all my tight muscles and tendons and fascia and all that sort of thing. I think like with bodybuilding, you're constantly putting a lot of stress on your body and even though you might not be feeling pain, it's always good to get treatment done if you can fit it into your schedule just to kind of keep your body in check. But um, I feel fucking great right now. Like I feel, I probably look half asleep because I was really relaxed. But just flushing out my legs, flushing out my ITB. I always get really tight ITBs. My lats, my subscap, pecs. Always like getting my pecs done because fixes up your posture. Traps, just pretty much everything. Um, yeah, it's just like a bit of a, more of a precautionary thing as well. So. I'm gonna head home now. It's like three o'clock. Hopefully we miss the traffic and uh, I'm gonna be filming with my videographer tonight. But anyway, that's exciting. Hope you guys like it. I'll check in later. Just got home, but we need to run to the store quickly, grab some supplies. Gotta get like some lettuce and bananas and berries and all kinds of little shit. So, oh, it's very dark in here. Where did I go? Woo! <laughs> all right, just got back from the supermarket. And this is what we got. You think you always go on there for one or two things and end up leaving with a whole basket full of shit. Salad ingredients, triple threat cucumber kind of day, lettuce, double tomatoes, corn cakes for snacking on, frozen blueberries, blackberries, fresh blueberries, savoys, 
Love Savoy's. Low fat milk, mushrooms. Oh yeah, got the brown rice. But they've got these one serve packs, which I didn't realize. I was buying the doubles, and then I was just having half, and then leaving the packet, and then the rice was leaking everywhere in my container, in my six pack bag. So I'm pretty glad that I found these one serve ones, 125 grams, which is pretty good. Um, oh yeah, got the chicken flavored one as well. Kangaroo patties, oat flakes. Apparently it's a little bit better than the Nutrigrain macro wise. You know, suss that shit out. Bought wraps, because we're doing the whole it fits your macros. Might as well enjoy some chicken wraps, a bit of avocado in there, lettuce, put some salsa, and then just stocked up on the stevia. And what, you think I didn't get any bananas? Boom! Not only did we get bananas, got a four pack for on the go, and then got the greenest of all green bananas, longer lasting. Well, my banana thing doesn't even... Stay, stay, stay. Okay, good. Around this side of the table, we got some almond milk, long lasting. Charisma potatoes, half calories, and low-fat Chobani yogurt. That's pretty much everything that we need for the shreds diet. Now I'm going to pack all this shit up and put it in the fridge in the cupboard. Next meal, Tuscan chicken breast with cauliflower and veggies. It's only 285 calories. Oh, focus. That's low. 40 protein and only 6.7 carbs. Woo! How many minutes? Four? All right, plugging it in. Tuscan chicken. Oh, it says 340 on here. Really? It's got 14 carbs. Oh, that might be the old one. The old Tuscan. Oh. They haven't updated it. Well, I'm putting it in as what it says here. I'll do it manually. There it is. Chicken breast. I added a little bit of tomatoes, cauliflower, green beans, and carrots. Lunch is served. Don't really have much to do at the moment so I'm gonna prepare a cauliflower puree now this is a really clean like snack that you can use as a filler you can add it to your meals and it's like basically no calories and it's just gonna add volume to keep you full or you could just eat it on its own if you get peckish and hungry and it doesn't really deliver too much calories because everyone knows the cauliflower's got like basically nothing in it all right so what I'm gonna do is chop this cauliflower up I'm gonna steam it I'm gonna mash it and then I'm just gonna add some flavorings to it and then just have it as a puree. I'm gonna cut it up with my trusty little samurai sword. Four. I had a masher the whole time. All right, so I drained the water out of the um, pot. So that's finished boiling now. I actually left it on for way too long. So it's kind of a little bit of funny color, but you win some, you lose some. Alright, next step is just to simply mash it all up and that basically creates a bit of a puree and you can add whatever you want to it, salt, mushrooms, tomatoes, uh, whatever sauces like sweet chili light sauce, gotta drain the water first and that's just basically going to add volume to your meal. There it is, bodybuilder life, always eating out of containers. So I just put the cauliflower mashed up in there, 150 grams of chicken breast in there as well, with some carrot. Now I'm microwaving some Uncle Ben's brown rice, one serving, so 125 grams. And then I'm gonna add some sweet chili light sauce, some salt, maybe some more salt, and then maybe a little bit more salt. <laughs> All right, here we go. Adding the rice. Already put the sauce in. Meal done. All right, so I'm about to have a little snack as a pre-workout meal. I'm gonna have 60 grams of this Oat Flakes Uncle Ben's, Uncle Toby's, sorry. And because there's less sugar like in the Nutri-Grain, it's not that sweet, so I just added a little bit of um, stevia on top of the almond milk. And of course, I weighed everything out in the counter for it. It's about 230 cals just for the, the flakes, plus the milk's another like 50 cals. So we're looking at about 270, 280 cals. Had a nice hot shower, which you might think is a little bit weird because I'm just about to go to the gym, get all hot and sweaty. But for me, it's like hitting the reset button, so I feel fresh and then I'll be nice and warm, so I'll get warmed up even quicker and then I'll connect with the muscles even better. So that's why I like having a shower sometimes before I go train. But pre workout, amino energy and protein have to get that ready. Well, take it with me to the gym. Yeah, we are A7 active. All right, 
Got our shakes ready. About to go to the gym. 7.15 p.m. So we just finished up filming up at the gym. Now we stopped over at Kmart to find some kitchen scales because I don't know if mine are accurate because they keep fluctuating, you know? It goes from like 10 to 13 to 10. Anyway, wait, what are you doing? What is that, lollies? Straight to the confectionery section. Sours, sour straps. Hey, if it fits your macros, why not? I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Warmer, warmer. Here they are. That's the same one that I've already got. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. Maybe we'll get that it's one. It's the same brand. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want this one because it's off. And, and that's smaller. and that's smaller. No. You have to order one. No deal. We're gonna eBay it. Ooh. Home and Co. What's this one? You know, if they're twelve dollars, it's gonna be fucking pretty inaccurate. Like it's just touch and go sort of shit. All right, guys. So we just got home, and after our failed attempt at buying this new kitchen scale, we were talking about food and whatnot in the car, and then I was like, oh yeah, I've already kind of hit my calories. Got like three hundred left for the day. Then I realised, well, I didn't realise. Cash realised. It's leg day tomorrow. And now last leg day, I filled up on like cauliflower. For, and I just like, was like, oh shit. Didn't really have enough carbs you know, to fuel my workout. So then I tried to smash carbs throughout the day. And it worked, but it like didn't really work. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna look at today as too much of a deficit day. I'm just gonna look at it as like a refeed day. I'm gonna have salmon and potatoes. Right now, let's do it. This is what happens when you microwave your salmon to defrost it. It falls apart but I'm gonna do what I can to save it because I'm the salmon king. You know what? I reckon I saved it pretty good. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, this one looks a little bit all messed up and shit, but at the end of the day, it's still salmon. It's just not in one whole piece. But I'm ready. All right, guys, that wraps up today's video. I'm about to head to bed. We just washed up the dishes. Cassie's got to wash up her dishes after she drinks the milk because the cayenne pepper burning the shit out of it. But anyway, hope you liked today's video. Thanks for watching. Please like this video. Subscribe to my channel as well. And I'll see you tomorrow.